Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. That's right. We're back with the morning European opening call. Quick four days in New York there. Wow. That city. It's just like London. It's just very special. Um, just ripped it. London, four days. Uh, for those of you that are listening, thanks for the hospitality and uh, for the chat. Uh, very interesting four days in London. But now we're back, uh, getting ready for FOMC, getting ready for a, a pretty busy week, um, trading-wise. So today we've got... Um, Retail sales out of Spain, consumer confidence out of France. We've got Governor Lowe speaking in Australia. It's kind of interesting. We do like long Aussie here. Um, so we get, well, we have a mildly interesting morning, not super great. Obviously, um, we're all kind of waiting for FOMC tomorrow. And this is going to be kind of the highlight of the first half of the week. But let's see what we got here today. Um, obviously, FOMC is not just 24 hours away. It's 36 hours away, 8 p.m. Swiss time tomorrow night. So anyway, let's dig in here today. Uh, first thing on our mind is dollar CAD. This 50 level... Um, we have sort of what you would call an iceberg buyer here at 50. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why he's buying here. Could be options. Could be a lot of reasons. But once this thing cruises through 50, we sort of like this uh, with the idea that for now, this is the idea. You can't run this through FOMC. But for now, we're sitting here going, well, U.S. is cutting. Canada is not cutting. Canada has had a run of great numbers. It's a sort of the same theme. As most of you know, we've been banging on the left-hand side of Dollar Cat here for a while. Uh, there just seems to be some money that could be made here, uh, trading through 50 and having a core short, maybe adding through 50 today. Dollar Yen, 200 day is 109.05. Um, somehow we traded up to uh, 06.8 a daily close above 05 will yield 109.30 a break of 109.30 is like sort of crazy bullish we like being long dollar yen but we're cautiously long we'll just trade it uh, very professionally uh, with a lot of discipline if FOMC surprises um, in any way, shape, or form on the hawkish side. Dollar yen's going to certainly knee jerk higher up through 30. Um, but then you got to be careful of the risk side. Even though the correlation between dollar yen and risk assets is not what it used to be, um, just have to be careful with this. So, as you can imagine, we're bearish dollar CAD, we're bullish dollar yen. Uh, CAD yen, we think, has some strong upside possibilities today. Let's check this CAD yen chart. We talked about CAD yen being the horse if you're risk on. This was way back at 82.10. Now we're 83.50, lots of clear air up here. It's a bit extended, no doubt about it, but um, CAD yen uh, higher on a core long makes loads of sense to us today. Let's look at Aussie. We like topside. We do think this um, 68.95 is going to trade. And it'll probably trade before FOMC. We've got low speaking today, so... Um, you know, governor of the uh, RBA, 8.45 a.m. Swiss time. 
So we got to keep your eye, keep your eyes on that. If you're running core long uh, Aussie, which we are, uh, keep your eyes out there for uh, Governor Low to see what he says. Uh, core long Aussie, uh, medium conviction. Just looks like we want to reach up and and see what's above uh, 69. The figure. Uh, again, this is probably likely pre-FOMC, and then when we get to FOMC, it might be one of these deals where the, because 90% of the market is expecting a cut, we may have some kind of buy the rumor, sell the fact on the dollar, so we'll have to see on that. Euro, we're bullish, Stay. we're still bullish, we all remember 106, uh, 110.64, which was one of the many clean breakpoints on the way up. 111.10 with news, with Brexit news. I mean, sorry, 110.10 with Brexit news. 110.64 uh, was a late day. Just push through. Uh, so 64 uh, is going to be support. You just want to try and buy low ones in Euro. There's a bit of push and pull here. Um, but we do like euro dollar higher. Let's go to let's go to the stock market. This is uh, super important now. Uh, all time highs yesterday. Um, we are incredibly skeptical, and we are looking at shorts. We're going to sell high ones today, between forty five and fifty. Uh, we're already short tiny at forty. Uh, just from trading it on the short side yesterday, we didn't actually we didn't trade it particularly well. But after buying and selling and buying and selling and buying and selling through the churn in the New York uh, time, we're we're short at 40. We're going to sell some more at 50. Um, we're looking for the vicious turn now. Um, stop entry through sort of say 3028 makes sense to us uh, and we're waiting for the shoe to drop we need an event which could be FOMC uh, could be something about trade could be earnings which by the way have I would say are, are have been moderately bad not incredibly bad I mean worst earnings since 2016 but you know Earnings haven't been horrible, but they haven't been great either. Uh, so, number of things we're looking at, um, waiting patiently to time this thing correctly on the downside. Finally, our old friend Boons, uh, short Boons, still the way. We're down through 40 basis points. Traded through this 80 level yesterday as we wrote on Twitter, um, down to 58. Those of you who are new at this game, this is not a gap fill. This is a whole nother contract here in June. Um, this is just the December price is just these last sec this last section here. So this is really the technical analysis we're looking at. Um, but we like uh, Boone's lower. We like all of fixed income lower. Um, continue to be core short Boone's. Guess we should pull this gold chart. We've been talking about this for a while. Is this trend line going to break? It's getting a bit. Um, it's getting uh, kind of dicey, right? We got we got all this central bank news and stuff, but I mean, last week we were talking about this line, and I think it was at um, 84, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 84.4, never broke, cruised up to 20 there, kind of breaking the top side of this wedge. Now this downside is probably going to break. I don't expect it to go anywhere pre-FOMC. They're probably just going to clear some stops here. There's money to be made short gold. Um, not really going to play that game today here. We're looking at dollar yen, which is kind of the same trade, and got our fingers in the dollar CAD pie, and we're we're going to be looking to be short equities. So, but 
technically speaking, this gold trend line, which now looks incredibly good. A lot of people will be looking at that as a head and shoulders as well. Very, very interesting. All right, I've said enough. After four days away, um, maybe five days, just getting back on my feet here, battling through just a tiny bit of jet lag, and I'll be back uh, better than ever tomorrow. One thing I do want to say is the guys in Ireland who um, promote these videos and present them uh, keep telling me to tell you that if you like these videos, click the like button. And if you have comments about the videos, write your comments. Um, we do have people looking at these comments. I, I don't look at them as much, but there's more to privateer than just... Um, Switzerland, right? We've got guys in Paris and we got guys in Ireland. Um, so do us a favor. Hit the like button if you like it. And if you have comments, positive or negative, uh, we don't care. We like to hear from you. Chuck some shit in the comments, uh, comments area. Wicked. All right. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Make some dough. You deserve it, right? Later.